Yeah, certainly. I mean, I got to speak to Tavani Nyawose literally moments after the results were announced. And one of the distinct things that he said to me uh, that remains is that there are no winners or losers here tonight. The ANC wins. You put up quite a good fight, uh, Tavani Nyawose. Um, but many are reading this as a defeat for the CR17 faction. Your supporters were saying we mustn't be shy to report that you support President Cyril Ramaphosa. How are we to feel about the future of this region in terms of its stability and the unity as the nominations for additional uh, members who will sit on the regional executive committee are nominated? I think the men, the men uh, branches of the ANC conducted themselves during the nomination process. And the manner, the preparations of this conference has been. The conference itself, the conduct of delegates, and also till we, we were discussing credentials and the voting process. I'm confident this is a, a foundation for the ANC in the HWA region to renew to rebuild and to unite itself. I'm confident the future of our region is bright. And I also want to congratulate Comrade Zangile Komete uh, for being elected uh, by the overwhelming majority of the ANC delegates in this uh, uh, conference. I, uh, I, I, I hope uh, and I wish her all the best. And as I've said Ada, that I will personally accept the results of the conference and all those branches and delegates who have uh, nominated and voted for me, they know my stance. They will also accept the outcome of this conference. I mean, you were just telling me off air about how often you and Zandile Komete have been in communication and you believe that that's part of the reason why this conference um, you know has not seen any violence in the run-up to this conference and even during this conference I mean have you called her to congratulate her yet what kind of dialogues do you want to have with her going forward about bringing together um, you know both your your, your slate after this conference uh, yes I, I have not called uh, her yet because after the results, I had to go up front and shake hands for those comrades and come to this interview. Definitely, after this, I, I, I will definitely call her. But yes, I've been, we, we, we have been in contact and discussion as far as 2018 January. But mostly in our discussions, we were discussing about the fact that both of us, as leaders in the region, uh, who are supported by some branches, we have a responsibility to lead a united and a strong organization. Although most of the people were expecting us to discuss issues of a position, whether who become the chair, who become the, the, the chairperson or deputy, to both of us, that was not an issue. Because we understand that contestation is allowed in the ANC. Contestation does not mean that you are enemies or you are going to a war. These are rights contained in the ANC constitution. At the same time, contestation does not, does not mean that we have to suppress principles of unity in the ANC. You can, cont you can contest one another while also you are prioritizing unity of the organization. My discussion with Comrade Zandile it has been always along those lines. Hence today, we don't see any incidents of people coming here to distract, coming here with complaints, even those who are outside. They are just singing, celebrating, they are happy because they have been part of a free and a fair process. Uh, what do you say to those who believe that the re-election of Zandile Kumete reflects a disingenuous stance by the ANC that is winning in its attempt to renew itself? I, I'm sure we are referring to the ANC rule on step aside. The ANC leadership has been very consistent on this. Being accused on a particular crime 
does not mean that you have been found guilty. At this point in time, Comrade Zandile is on step aside because he's still undergoing the processes of the court because of the allegations levied against her. But in terms of the ANC constitution, she has a right to avail herself and to contest whatever position where is, she's being nominated and branches have the right to vote for her. And for this conference, I think she deserves uh, to be congratulated because there's nothing wrong that she has done. I'm expecting that after this conference, she will continue to be on step aside till her matters are concluded. Then once she has been cleared, she will take over the position of the chair of the region freely without any problem. All right. Tabani Nyawose, he has just basically said that he will give his full support to the re-elected chairperson of the Etegwini region, Zandile Kumete, and saying that they've been engaging in dialogue since 2018 and they'll continue go doing so as uh, the future of this region now lies and rests in the hands of Zandile Kumete and the rest of her top five structure. Right, uh, Zianda Global, thank you very much. Uh, they're live for us tonight uh, outside uh, the uh, uh, Devon ICC. That's where the uh, currently uh, is a conference going on for the Eteguini region of the ANC.